Yeah, there, I, you know, I thought there was good and bad tonight. I think, um, number one, when you're playing a good football team, you, you can't have an 0-3 turnover margin. Uh, we turned the ball over three times tonight. All three of them were in the second half and on third down. I mean, it just kills you. And then, of course, they didn't turn the football over one time. So that, that's the number one thing. Uh, the second thing is I don't think we handled their tempo very well. Obviously, we gave up way too many rush yards tonight. Uh, give them a lot of credit. They did some things tonight that we hadn't seen. Thought they executed really well. Um, I thought their guys were really, really hungry. And, you know, that's the thing we talked about all week with our team. When you're playing a team, you know, that's a top 10 caliber football program that's had some, you know, things not go their way this year, you know, you, you knew they were going to come in here and fight really, really hard. So I was really pleased with the way our guys, the start they got off to. Um, we executed a really high level tonight on special teams, really high level. Uh, we gave up one punt return, but, but their punt return guy, kick return guy are very dangerous. So I thought we executed really good uh, in that facet. But, you know, offensively and defensively, we just we made way too many mistakes. And when you're playing a good team like that, you know, you can't do that. Yeah, we did. We did. You know, I just told our team, you know, I said uh, they're very disappointed. And uh, I told them thank you because it's a great feeling uh, when you have a group of guys in a locker room that uh, were very upset that they lost the football game. Uh, the thing we got to learn from is I thought we were just, may not have looked like it, but I thought we were really uptight tonight at times. There was just, we were very stressed on defense at times. There was guys blowing coverages, not getting calls. Uh, we had to use timeouts early in the game because guys were misaligned. So just little things like that we've got to learn from. I, I really believe it was guys trying too hard, being, being too amped up. And, you know, again, I, that word competitive maturity, you've got to have the ability to compete at a high level, you know, but be uh, poised and have focus. No, and that was kind of, you know, I mean, you had the, the third and one there where Earl fumbled. Yeah. You be, you're trying to do too much there. Yeah, that. yeah. And, and, again, you know, he's a young guy in, in a hostile environment, stressful environment, and, um, you know, he did some really good things tonight as well, too. So, but yeah, you know, you look at that, that's probably an easy first down because they weren't lined up. But, you know, those are things we've got to continue to work on and get better at. We haven't had any issues with that in practice. Joe, what was like, I mean, you mentioned the mistake on the first half, and then second half they didn't go as well. What do you think the play call still be of, like, you kind of touched on it already, the root of what went wrong? Yeah, you know, we, we use the word in our program, uh, change the momentum. And we talk about that. And what that means is you got to have max focus and max effort to get the momentum changed. We just, we never changed the momentum in the second half of the football. You know, they got it going into halftime. Uh, we came out, got the football. We flipped the field. They went right down and scored. And then it's just, we were never able to recover. So, you know, football is a game of momentum and you got to be able to change it when things go against you. But again, it wasn't a lack of effort or, focus or guys wanting to, it was, I really think, trying too hard. So something we got to learn from. And then again, games like these have a lot of happy but at times that like, seem to lose your legs. So what do you really want your team to do? Better? Well, I, yeah, I just told them, I mean, like, here's the deal. It ain't getting any easier. Um, you know, we don't have to uh, drive up to Eastern Kentucky this week, which is a great thing. Uh, we'll be able to get on a plane. That's a cool experience for our guys. We're going to a, a new venue. Uh, Eastern Kentucky's a very good football program, and they're, they're going to be good. So we got to come in here tomorrow. We got to learn, I mean, legitimately learn and grow from the mistakes. And then, like I say, win or lose, 24 hour, we got to show back up here Monday night, uh, ready to go. Yeah. What do you think was the one position here tonight that kind of set the tone, I guess, for ETA against your program? Uh, the quarterback and the receiving core. You know, we knew it. We, we, we thought we had a good plan to – I don't know if you're ever going to stop those guys. I mean, if you look at what they did to Sam Houston last uh, week, and obviously Sam's great on defense and a great program. And so you just – you try to limit uh, the big plays, and we gave up way too many explosive plays tonight. And then – when you're getting into those situations, that's obvious rushing downs. That was probably the most disappointing thing. You know, they, they were able to line up and run the football against us. So um, I, I really thought it started with their quarterback and those two receivers. I thought their O-line played good. So did their D-line, but I think, you know, those three guys were the catalyst. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Coach, a couple of positives for me. Davion Johnson, 128 return yards. Yeah. It seems like every time he gets the ball, he's, he's a pretty good threat. Elijah Moffitt's an unfortunate practice for you tonight. 
Yeah. How much are you looking for guys like that? Awesome. You know, um, one of them is a, a sophomore and the other one's a freshman. So, again, just seeing those guys grow and grow and grow. And we're trying to find ways to, to get DJ the football, and I think we're doing a really good job of that. And I thought, our again, our special team's plan was good tonight. We were super aggressive. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a big positive, and we got we to grow on that, build on that.